Oh man, it's the fall of the year. We're headed to Pitwick, Alabama. We're going to put it at Sheffield. This is a really big lake. It spans from Alabama through Mississippi on up into Tennessee. We're going to be on the upper portions of it today, and this is where those big smallmouth live. That's what we're going to target today. Stick with us. We're going to have a lot of fun. Timmy Horton Outdoors. Dugget Fishing, Nitro Boats, Profound Outdoors, Bass Pro Shops, That's North awesome. Alabama. I tell you what's cool is, you know, we've had some rain, a lot of rain. And one thing that happens in the Tennessee River is even when East Tennessee gets a lot of rain, it really affects how the river flows down into Alabama and on up into Kentucky. It affects all of it. And uh, they've been running about 70,000. A lot of a lot of water has been coming through the lakes, and that really positions these smallmouths up on these shallow gravel bars. A lot of history with that I've had here in the past in Colbert County, Alabama. So we're really looking forward to getting out there today and seeing if we can get that smallmouth bite going. What I like about the current is it positions them on that pea gravel on those bars, and you can really catch them. Beautiful morning. I love seeing the current coming around the rocks like that, man. They're really generating some water. Get your heart pumping a little bit. All about that current when you're dealing with smallmouth. We're gonna talk about that a lot today. And a little sun, mixture of clouds. Let's take you through rigging one of these lures. What we've got the 3 8 ounce head, and I mean, this comes in black and green pumpkin. I like the black. It really mixes well with the chartreuse pepper color. Now what you want to do is take this plastic lure, and as you can see, this has got a spring right here on the front of it. This is going to allow you to rig this lure and it stay up on there properly, and it's going to stay straight. So get it started, and then just start turning it. And what that's going to do, it's going to spin it, and take it all the way up that screw lock until you get it snug all the way up against the head. Then I want to take it, put a little slack in it, and then pull it through to where those rings are on there and that worm is perfectly straight. What it's going to do, it's going to set up and really move around in the current and those bass are going to be able to find it. There we go. Man, you can feel those small mouth. When they hit, they, they back up and shake their head, and you can tell every time. That drag is so smooth. That's a big small one. Right on that gravel. I mean, you can feel it. There's a lot of shells and stuff mixed in. That is why people come to Carver County, Alabama to fish Pigwick Lake right there. Oh, yes. Man, he got a couple of marks on him there. That is a big one. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. And right there on right on that gravel you know one of the things i like to tell people and this this shows you how much a smallmouth needs current if you're ever at an aquarium like a bass pro shops go in and look at how the smallmouth is breathing as compared to the large mouth the large mouth are always just sitting there really slow gaping their mouth open one out of about, about three or four seconds and a small mouth just constantly doing this they need more oxygen they have to breathe breathe a lot more and they're going to stay out in the current 
you know, they're not going to leave it because there's a lot more oxygen content out here in the current on the main river than there is in the backwater areas. <laughs> One thing you want to do often is check your drag. You know, when you're dealing with these smallmouth and you got eight pound tests like we've got right here, you can get in trouble near the boat. You know, those fish will run so fast. You got to, you got to have a reel that really reacts to it. It's a bite. There we go. I love these brown fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he's coming up. Damn. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. You know what's so amazing? It's like about a five and a half, six pounder. And in this lake, don't you jump. I don't even get people excited. Look at that. Look at that fish. Gorgeous. Pickwick Lake, Colbert County, Alabama. Smallmouth capital of the world. And that's why. You know, you get your picture made with a five and a half, six pounder like that. <laughs> Everybody goes, well, I called three of those yesterday. <laughs> How cool. <laughs> that is so cool. You go to a lot of places at the giant smallmouth here on Pickwick. That happens every day. Hey guys, we hope you learned a lot today. Fishing smallmouth bass, look for pea gravel, look for chunk rock. You're gonna find them, any southern reservoir that you're on that has them. Hope you guys learned a lot. We'll see you again next week right here on Timmy Horton Outdoors. Cool. Timmy Horton Outdoors, dug it fishing, pro driven, nitro boats, the pro's choice, motor mate. Protect your investment while towing with confidence. Profound Outdoors. Above and beyond Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here.